What is up everybody? Welcome back to Double F Outdoors tip series. And I don't even know if this is a tip, but today's video, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be bringing you my five, my top five favorite summer bass fishing baits. Now, a lot of times you probably do top three, which really narrows it down even more, but I couldn't pick just three because I throw these five baits all the time. These five rods are always tied on this way. And I've got one honorable mention. So I'm not gonna try to take too long. Um, you guys have seen me use a lot of these in videos already. I'm gonna be doing more videos over summer fishing though. My schedule's kind of figured itself out, so you're gonna see more fishing videos um, and more content coming soon. But on a lunch and first, this guy right here. This is the Guggen Banger or a shallow square bill crankbait. My go-to though is the Guggen Banger. This is the Chartreuse Blueback, my favorite little guy. Um, it's a two to five foot diver. And then I throw that on this lit favorite casting rod. Love this rod, like I said, I, I talked in the, the recap of the video I posted of summertime fishing. This little guy right here, this rod, I mean, most underrated rod out there. I got it because I had, I didn't even know they had this rod on the market. And when I joined their pro staff back in um, February, I decided that I wanted to try this rod out and I could not recommend it more. Super underrated rod, great for shallow running crankbaits, really sensitive, really well balanced, and just a good rod. I can cast this little guy pretty far. But this is my honorable mention. Honestly, crankbaits are kind of a year round bait. You see a lot of, they can get a lot of attention in the spring, but this guy can be thrown year round really starting to pick up speed on him right now though. Um, but now for the top five, these five baits are always tied on summer for me. And the first thing we're gonna start with, top water, but more specifically a buzz bait. I love throwing a buzz bait in the summer. Where I'm from, I know guys win tournaments year round on top water. Ish Monroe has won tournaments in 40 degrees on a frog. Awesome, but I can't do that. But around here where I live in Illinois, summertime is really top water time. I throw a spook quite a bit, but I really like this buzz bait right here because this is also a great search bait. So not only is it a great top water bait, it's a search bait when you're trying to find those fish. So you can cover a lot of water with a buzz bait, multiple casts, multiple spots, really figure out where the fish are. This right here is the Guggen Hummer. Um, I just really started throwing this buzz bait this year because of my switch to Guggen, um, and I'm in love with it. Um, if you guys saw in the last video, I caught two real nice fish, caught my biggest fish of the day, a three pounder on this guy. Um, this is the black and blue, he's got little blue flakes in there. I um, love this buzz bait. Um, makes some really good noise, um, and I just it, good hookup ratio. I, I hook both fish that bit it, um, and I normally throw this on a, a longer rod and a medium heavy. But I like a fast tip. Obviously, you know, fast tip for top water. I have not ordered a favorite rod for this yet, but um, I'm throwing my lip casting reel. Great reel for this. Perfect um, gear ratio. Not too fast. Not too slow. Allows me to kind of mess with it a little bit, and then I throw it on P line. Um, 15 pound. I throw almost everything on P-Line 15 pound. Next bait, you guys see me throw this a lot, and this is a bait that I've tied on year round actually. Chatterbait. Z-Man Jackhammer, Chartreuse and White. Not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it. You guys see me throwing it a lot. You guys know I love this bait. It's one of my confidence baits. Got a Guggen Saucy Swimmer on the back. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know what else to say about it, guys. I throw it on the, the Pro Series, the Favorite Pro Series. Favorite rod that Favorite makes right here. 7.3, kind of an all-purpose rod. Medium heavy. Um, I've got my fire casting reel on there. Really like this reel. Fall in love with it. Uh, guys, I don't know what else to say about this. This bait, this chatterbait wins tournaments year round, everywhere. Great bait. Um, I throw a swim jig a little bit and a spinner bait, but I just feel like that's like the perfect marriage between the two. Great vibration, great flash, catches some big fish, even in, oh, especially in the summer. All right, now we're in my top three. And this was hard because these top three are kind of interchangeable for me. Depends on the day. But we're going to start, um, as I really had to think about it right here, this guy. This is, you guys see me throw this a lot. Stuff on it from the last time I used it. Bandito bug. Fourth ounce blue tungsten weight. 5 aught VMC flipping hook. Guys, this is one of my favorite baits. I have this bait tied on year round. I love fishing the spawn. This is one of my bed fishing baits. A Texas rig creature bait is always on my deck or tied on year round. But in the summer, this guy, I flip around cover, flipping heavy grass, trees. Um, this is June bug. This is the June bug mandula bug. I like this color, summer craw and Okeechobee craw. Um, my fish have really been liking this June bug this year though, so I've really been sticking with it. Um, I throw this, and I, this is a newer rod. I just bought this rod about a month ago. This is the six seven. This is the seven six balance, um, the medium heavy with a moderate fast tip. Okay, seven six medium heavy, moderate fast tip. A little bit more backbone than the favorite defender that I really like, but this has got a little more backbone. Really love this rod flipping. It is super well balanced, super lightweight. I don't get tired flipping this thing around all day. Um, I throw normally 15 pound CX or CXX, um, always with a quarter ounce or half ounce, woo, never chip, um, tungsten flipping weight. But 
You guys have seen that in plenty of videos. Killer bait, killer option. Second, you guys have seen me turn my season around last year on this bait. You saw me finish seventh, the Ohio River on this bait, right here, the Ned Rig. I love this little Ned. Um, this bait is literally saved my my season last year. Helped me qualify the regional in year one, and I have just continued to love to throw it. Um, something about tournament angling, but even summer angling. Finesse fishing is super key, because these fish are just finicky, they're hot, they're lazy. This presentation, is just perfect. It, it's, it just gets those fish that don't normally bite to bite. Um, right here, I got a Z-Man Finesse TRD on there. This is a fifth ounce Z-Man head. Um, and then you've got eight pound P-Line Tactical fluorocarbon to 20 pound P-Line X-Braid. And I'm throwing that on the Guggen um, Finesse spinning rod. Um, haven't gotten a favorite spinning rod yet. I've got some on the way, but this rod is also an awesome rod. I think, I, I don't know if I ever released the video, but, but I was gonna do a product review on this, but a great rod. I really like it, but this guy right here, you guys seem to throw it a lot. It's it's tied on almost year round for me now too. Um, one of those baits you can fish. Multiple water depths, year round, different speeds, catches fish. Caught quite a few shorts on this bait so far in current season. Now for my number one option. And guys, I've got a video coming out next week just over this and how I do it and why I love it so much. Number one summertime fishing bait, flipping jig. This right here is the Fin Commander. Flipping jig, I'll link it below. This is the peas and carrots color with a little junior bandito bug. Um, guys, I have a jig how-to video coming out next week. Um, this is my favorite summer bait. Um, one reason why I could pick one bait to fish for the rest of eternity, one style of bait to be a jig. So many jigs, so versatile, you can fish them so many ways, fish every water column, different speeds. But what I love about this in the summer is I can really be thorough. I can get it around cover. I can fish it in any kind of cover and I can be super thorough. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see this how-to video um, as I talk about colors and stuff like that. I try to keep it simple. I don't want to give too much away. Definitely watch that video coming out next week. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. But I love a flipping jig, especially in the summer. Um, I've got back here. Oh, I left it in the truck, but you guys will see it in the video. I also, this is my second favorite jig. I talk about my favorite kinds of jigs. Favorite jig, though, is a Juicy Jig by Guggen, and I put a big trailer on it for those big bites. I love throwing a jig for a big bite in the summer, get those big, lazy fish. Um, to commit, to bite, and really um, just catch them. You guys saw in my video today uh, that I released last time of the summer fishing, caught a real nice two and a half pounder on this jig. Um, you just get those bigger fish. Your quality will go up. I'm not saying you'll never catch a fish under two pounds again, because you definitely will on this. There's fish you're like, man, how did you eat that? But this guy right here, um, I'm really falling in love with this jig. Uh, I, I talk about my video, I'm a jig connoisseur, I say. I buy all kinds of jigs. I've bought tons of jigs over the years, but this guy right here, I'm really impressed with. I like the head on it very streamlined um, and I just like the color combo. So um, definitely look out for my Jig How To video. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. Yeah, and guys, I got plenty of content coming out. I got that Jig How To video. I'm gonna work on different how-to videos, more tip videos like this, talking about different baits. And something I'm really excited to show you guys, this in here, this is a package from Tackle Warehouse and this is Jig Making Stuff, not to sell. <laughs> I'm really getting into making my own jigs on the boat. Um, like I said, I'm a jig connoisseur. So we got stuff in here. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been working on, what I've been making. We got deer hunting stuff coming, but guys, this was just a real quick video. It ended up being a little longer than I thought it was gonna be, but my five favorite, and like I said, probably should have done three, but I felt like the other two just had to make it. These five rods are always tied up like this and always come with me everywhere I go. But guys, thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this content and wanna see more of this stuff, please like it. Leave a comment if you got a question or you wanna tell me what your favorite um, summer fishing tips. In fact, I wanna hear what is your favorite summer fishing bait. Give me your number one favorite fishing bait for the summer season below. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace.